setting. And I wrote, I wrote a blog post specifically about this because I've seen it deceiving people. Because they look very similar, you think they're showing you the same thing, but they're actually reporting on different data. Whereas the performance pages report on measured data, so for example, you can't consume more than the CPU than you have on a system. This screen, and if it's the one thing that you can remember walking out the presentation because it helps you understand everything else, this screen is based on active session history data, or ASH data, ASH samples. Okay? And it's not an ASH presentation, it's a pictures one, but uh, essentially what happens with ASH is across the system, every one second, Oracle samples what active sessions are doing. And what they mean by active is it's inside a database call. So not waiting for a user to come back with a response, not waiting for an app server to submit a new request, but active inside the database. But activity could be waiting for a single block read, or it could be consuming CPU, or it could be waiting on a log file sync point. So that you can com com complete your commit. But essentially, the screen's based on sampled data, right? So it's not showing you true measurements. What it's doing is taking these samples, wrapping them up over into aggregation period. So the gray bar shows a five minute period, looking at all the ash samples in that period, and then doing this stacked graph to show you activity, right? Now why that's important is one, it's what gives the screen some power, because you're gonna see the various dimensions that we can look at the ash data with, and the other one is that you need to be aware of the limitations of it, particularly when we look at the history view in a little while. Okay? So it's not measured data, it's sample data, and it's using ASH samples as a proxy for time. But I've, I've worked with this stuff for several years now, and it's amazing how accurate a picture it is of time doing this stuff. Okay? So, 